Hello guys, this is Kieran from Viewboard. Welcome to my video. Today I want to show you the Meeple Shuffer V4. This is our latest Meeple board. And uh, this is the most important product we ever released. And uh, we built this board uh, with the most passion and energy more than any Meeple board we ever released. So we believe if there is a Meeple board that I recommend the most, it would be Meeple Shuffer. I've never been satisfied with a Meeple board, never. But this time, I'm so close to a perfect board. Let's open the box. A cover. Now you see the board. Shaffer. It's a 36 inch long board. It's not that long, so you can carry it. And uh, you see a menu. This menu tells you everything about the board and the remote with the full details and how to ride. Then you get a charger and then a T2. Okay, let's get back to the board. So this is the board I'm so pleased with and so proud we built it. In general, we want to say Mipo Vivo V1 is here, people love it. Yes, it's a good board. And then we have V2, a little upgrade. And we have V3, a little more upgrade. Um, now we have V4. I would say, the improve from V3 to V4 is uh, just very, very much. And uh, as I said, we, we, we invest uh, so much time and energy to improve all the details in such a board. Because um, at this price range, I know Meeple board is dominating the market, especially uh, an escape board uh, uh, newcomers and the people who would like to try an electric skateboard with good performance, a decent board, not, not a toy. So to introduce this uh, so interesting, exciting, passion, so much fun, uh, support, hobby, e-skate to the world, to more people, Okay, let's get to details about this board. What makes it so special? First, we have a sleek uh, design. It means we have had all the boards because we believe the defect rate of this board will be very low. So we don't worry about defect or repairing the hustle thing. We had the boards. You don't see boards, both sides. Um, then you can see here the four wheels at the same si are the same size. It's the first time happening on a hub motor electric skateboard. It looks so beautiful. Let's talk about the details one by one. We, we start from the wheel. Every little small part, there are around 100 parts in a Meeple board shuffle. Every single one, we build them ourselves with our own molding, tooling, and it's, nothing is off the shelf. We use a offset core wheel, so it's softer from the edges, it's softer. You have more grip, it's safer to ride and more comfortable. Then, the truck. We have been uh, using this truck uh, for more than five years, it's always this same design uh, inside. Although the uh, decoration part changes uh, every now and then, but inside is the same core. We have keep uh, refining the details. We uh, adjusted a lot on this version of the shredder truck. So it writes um, much uh, more flex, easier to turn, and the carving uh, is uh, much fun. So 
I really like the latest version of the shared truck here. It's totally a big improvement. We, we changed it from 15 degree to 45 degree and uh, very happily find the riding everything becomes better. Then let's uh, talk about the deck. You can easily see it's a concave deck and also it's lowered, meaning uh, it's higher here but lower in the middle where you stand. So we will be closer to the ground. Your foot will be 10 um, centimeters only to the ground. Your, you can ride pretty low to the ground. This will gain your confidence of riding. Believe me, it's much safer and you will love it. You are more willing to go high speed. Because uh, on the other hand, if you feel you are high above, uh, you will feel start worry and you don't want to ride fast. So lower the deck with the concave. This concave is very hard to build and uh, but uh, we after so many tests uh, and drawings for a long time we decided that a wind at this place is uh, the best concave we want. You can see in my riding video your toe and your heel, we are always standing on the wings. So your turning and your carving, when, when you lean like this, the wing will lock your shoe and you don't slip out. So this is very good for your riding. And uh, it's almost flat in the middle, so you don't feel something stick into the, your, the middle of your foot. So really love this concave. You ride it, you will feel the difference. Uh, then let's talk about the uh, battery. The uh, switch and the battery indicator is here. Turn off, turn on. Five lights here tells you how much battery left in this board. Right now is uh, two and a half. The battery inside is still for an hour uh, battery. Uh, it's with uh, 11 miles of range, good for uh, your short distance uh, commute, and good for school, and good for having fun. Inside is 144 watt hour. Uh, you can get 11 miles range or um, 17 kilometers. If you want more range, you can buy an extra super fast charger because nobody is doing this. It's 8 amps super fast charger. It takes only half an hour for, to get your shuffle fully charged. We have been testing this for more than a year. You can use this charger to um, get a 10 kilometer range within a coffee time of 15 minutes. This charger is a little big, but the uh, good thing is with this charger, uh, you can always have uh, endless uh, range. Another thing I want to talk about this super fast charger is that the inner, the connector, and uh, the PCB BMS for the battery. We improved the quality of all the details, the small parts, components. That's the key to make the system working healthy cool and uh, robust, run for a long time. So uh, the details inside, if you open it, you will see it's much different and it's improved a lot. Then let's talk about the ESC. Uh, this part, I will have more videos talking about this new ESC because it's just so much different. If I am to talk only one upgrade, for the V4, I would pick the Leaf Fork, the ESC. We call it Leaf Fork, L-Y-F-O-C. It's the ESC we developed with our core partner of the ESC. Uh, it's still the same company we have been working with. One thing I must admit is that in the past, there are some weaknesses in the Meepo ESC. Um, people complain about the JK uh, delay dead room and other things here and there, not uh, intuitive. Although we have been improving 
all, every now and then. But now, with Lee Fork, we have good confidence. It's uh, a totally new thing. Um, it's new to the degree that it's using different chipset, CPU, and amplifier. Means from the hardware to the software, everything is new. So you can see it as a totally new ESC built by the same team with all the experience we got in the past. What do you need in a ESC? In my opinion, you need three things. Smooth, instant, and precise. When we talk about ESC, actually, we are also talking about the remote because they should be programmed at the same time with the same system. They need to work uh, together. Smooth means uh, when, whether you are acceleration or brake, the torque would be in a line. It, it shouldn't be up and down. So that's smooth. Then instant. Instant means when you go accelerate or you go brake, um, your board, the motor, will react to your throat movement instantly. An easy way to test the instant of the ESC is to um, kick your throat wheel very fast, like 10 times in one second. When you are standing riding the board, you do this kick. Kick and release. You do it pretty fast. Then you will feel an instant push and stop from your board. It means your ESC is instant. And then the third thing you need is precise. Saying you are riding at a speed of 30 km meters per hour, you want to slow down just a little. When your ESC and the remote is precise, when the control is precise, you can easily find the right amount of brake you need. So that's precise. With precise control, you feel the board do understand what you want to do. And uh, um, you feel much safer riding it. You get more confidence and uh, you can ride faster. It's not just about your skill. It's also about the controlling quality of the ESC. So in all these three areas, smooth, instant, and uh, precise, this leaf fork, is perfect. Um, I strongly recommend everyone who owns a MIPO board I want and who want a better riding experience, uh, go get a new ESC, the Lee Fork FOC. Uh, it's 1.0 real right now. We will be um, improving little by little from here because uh, it's already pretty close to perfect. I love this ESC so much. Even I have been riding Mipo boards for years. Right now with this ESC, I feel like I'm more willing to ride. So it's really a game changer. Okay, next thing. The motor uh, here is wider. So we found a manufacturer who are building wheels for high temperature, hot, sunshine, rain, everything doesn't break it. So we convinced this manufacturer to do a testing for a long time and build a good formula for our hub motors. Now is in on our Mipo shuffle the first time. We are using the technology to build the um, wheels of a roller coaster. So uh, over over testing in the past two or three months, uh, this PU sleeves last three times longer than the older PUs we have been using. So it's really good news. When a product, a electric skateboard is good designed, you don't need to worry about anything. You buy a board, you ride it, that's it. No need to do much maintenance or replacement every now and then. It is built to last long and it's built to be hassle free. So that's the Mipo Shuffle we fur the very best version of Meeple board we ever, ever built so far. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, leave your comment and if you have any question, we, we are very glad to answer. 
and uh, we will be more making more videos about uh, other uh, interesting things about this board, like the free throw, the, the low resistance, uh, doing dancing on these wonderful trucks. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Ride safe.